the mighty Gabi. Like many Caribbean islands, Calypso is a big part of the culture here. Its origins are from West Africa, and it's believed to have evolved from a genre there called Kaiso. At the heart of it is political storytelling and social commentary. The songs often speak truth to and poke fun at those in power. So when there's a big issue to discuss, like becoming a republic, meeting up with Gabby and his son and musical protege Bit Bit seems like the right place to start. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi. Hey. Have a seat, please. It's so hey. nice to meet you. Uh, you must be pleasure. Bit Bit. Yes, please. The f yes, uh, please, indeed. We're I so happy bit. to meet you. My nice gosh. to meet you, too. What makes a Calypsonian, Gabby? A Calypsonian, he's like a town crier. He can put politicians in power and take them out. Mm -hmm. So because... speaking truth to power. Yes. And this is what could be ahead for you in the Calypsonian path. Yes. Bit Bit, bit is the junior Calypso Mana of Barbados, the youngest ever. Junior Calypso, Calypso Monarch. Monarch, you know. Wow, that's quite <laughs> a title bit there already. Bit, bit. Let me see if you remember this song. Oh, were about, you going to uh, sing for her? Well, since last year. Man, my opening song. Since last year, I am fooling her. People had me under pressure. Asking what I can be with this year for crop over. I need a tempo. So I need Don't get me started on Bit Bit. What is the... How can you be this young and sing with that emotion? So when did you start performing and singing and writing? Oh, man, How long old were you? Time ago, by age 10, I had um, written my first song. Right. It was called Vote for Motley and Get Free Cakey because our people were so poor mm -hmm. that we had to be dependent on the mayor of Bridgestone to ask so that we can... Have uh, something, a little something. something. To, to go to school with, you mm -hmm. know? You would have to see Barbados in those days. Barbados was so British. The headmasters of all the major schools were all by English people. So you couldn't get away from it. The police chief, same thing. Right. None of the banks had any black workers. So it was like, as if the spirit said to me, you have to be the one that has to fight up against that to change that. Nelson's statue went up before the Nelson statue in London. This statue of Horatio Nelson took pride of place in National Hero Square in Barbados for 213 years, even though he supported the enslavement of Africans in the Caribbean. I mean, like, how could we keep a statue of a guy like that going in, in this country? So you clearly had no love I, for I the country. I wrote country or the, the song and it became so popular. It goes like Nelson belonged to Trafalgar Square. In London town, not down here. <laughs> Nelson belong to Jamaica Square. In London town, not we island. Down Nelson, down Nelson, look down, back down, mash down Nelson. <laughs> Put up a Belgian man. Put up a Belgian man. Cause you remind me of the British crown. Remind me how we used to bow down Remind me when things were so mean We had to sing God save the Queen I said take him down Take him down Take him down Lick him down Mash him down Take him down Put up a bench and man Take him down <laughs> The statue was taken down in November 2020, and at the occasion, PM Mia Motley emphatically articulated why she thought it was so important. If we do not know who we are, if we are not clear what we will fight for, then we are doomed to be exploited and to be colonized again. 